From the High Definition Educational Broadcast Center at Bergen Community College's main campus in Paramus, this is Studio Bergen. Hi everyone, I'm Larry Lavanka, and welcome to Studio Bergen, your connection to the state's largest community college. Meanwhile, in this month's faculty focus, Professor Skip Husking detailed his somewhat unconventional arrival at the state's largest community college. Some would consider it a long way from a career as a specialty pharmaceutical company executive helping develop preservatives for brand names such as Lysol and Clorox to Bergen Community College professor, but not Skip Husking. I worked my way up through a 30-year career in a successful level of businesses, and the way I did that was training, teaching, motivating a group of people to have the same vision that I had. And it wasn't designed for me making all the decisions. I found out real quickly, real early, that teamwork approach and ethics and integrity work wonders. So my whole career was built on building a group that would handle the issues, the challenges of the business. So in a lot of ways, I felt I was teaching, but not formally. Nearly 30 years into his career in private industry, which spanned multiple continents and responsibilities, Professor Husking made a change. As happens with a lot of businesses, the, the main board of trustees decides they want to change their focus and take money out of the chemical pharmaceutical business and start putting it into packaging and aluminum. So rather than be a growth industry, we then became a cash cow industry. And that's after spending 28 years building business and growing from, I don't know, 25 million up to over 500 million, I decided almost 50, maybe now's the time to, uh, to get out. So I, I took a package and uh, retired early. What the business world lost, the academic community gained. Professor Husking, who joined Bergen as an adjunct seven years ago and became a full professor in 2009, reiterated that certain concepts should be pervasive in both. A business is providing a service and a value to its customers. And I believe these students are our customers. Doesn't mean you give them good grades, they have to earn them, but you've got to provide the environment to do that. And, and I think using more business techniques and principles, I think the, the uh, college and academia will, will be much better off. You're seeing that in many of the universities that are on the forefront. And the best example I'll give of just successful nonprofit companies are now using standard business principles to grow and to be effective in whatever product you know, or service that they're, they're providing. So uh, it's not about profit. Profit should come about by doing the right job, doing a job with integrity and providing value to whatever your, your, your customers are. Much like his pragmatism for the academic community, the professor's perspective on his former industry remains rooted in facts, even for a field mired by a negative connotation. We believed in protecting the environment. We believed in using sound science to find out if there were problems, and if we had problems, we fixed them. And what's really nice is I started work at this facility in 1972 in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, and that was during the 70s when all the environmental stuff came through. That plant is still operating. It's still the largest employer in the area and gets awards for being environmentally conscious. Because what I believe is you can do it properly, and when you do, you'll be successful. And that's what I try to pass on in, in my classes. Every day in his classroom, Professor Husking's real-world experience makes an impact on students. What I hope they gain from me is that business is not rocket science. There's a lot of common sense. I don't teach to memorize when the industrial age production started on July 4th, 1830. I don't teach memorization. I teach concepts of how you look at businesses, how you manage people. People, I spend a lot of time with people because of you know, my, my belief in ethics. 